The first group of survivors from the Egypt bus bombing arrived back in Korea on Wednesday, extremely tired and emotional. Three members of their tour group and the Egyptian bus driver were killed Sunday when a suicide bomber blew up their bus near the Egypt-Israel border. Kim Hyun-bin reports. Four days after the horrifying attack on their tour bus, the first group of Korean tourists arrived back on home soil Wednesday. After their ill-fated trip to Egypt, Looking exhausted, the victims underwent medical checks upon their arrival to check on their physical health and state of mind. We did basic checkups. This included checking their body temperature and blood pressure. The first group were the lucky ones, only suffering scratches and bruises. The mental scars, however, will not go away so easily. I heard gunfire, so we crouched down, but smoke and fire started to break loose. After going through immigration, the group boarded a bus bound for Chincheon, their hometown in Korea's central Chungcheongbuk-do province. The remainder of the group is due to arrive home on this Thursday. The families of the three Koreans who were killed are currently in Egypt and will be accompanying their bodies home soon. In the wake of the attack, the Korean government has issued a travel warning for the Sinai Peninsula and is working to find out whether there are still Korean tourists in the region. The tour group's bus was traveling from St. Catherine's Monastery, a popular tourist destination in the South Sinai, to Israel when it was attacked last Sunday. An Al-Qaeda-inspired terrorist group in the region claimed responsibility for the attack and has since warned all tourists to leave the area or risk further attacks. Kim Ha-bin, Radar News.